What up y'all and welcome back to another one. We are inside Walmart. I am grabbing the supplies for this morning's cook. Doing a little public land hunt today, boys, on the boat. So you know what that means. We gotta do some cooking on the boat. Here we go, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Some Jimmy Dean regular. Yep, yep, and we're gonna need some new eggs, that's for sure. We ate all of them last time. Always check your eggs, boys. Can you guess what we're making this morning? I asked you guys, I was like, what is the best breakfast that you can have on a boat while you're hunting? And you all said breakfast burritos. So I gotta do it. Uh, we're gonna do these, the old eight pack tortillas, baby. But you guys absolutely loved the last public wetland boat hunt that we did. Larry, Mike, and myself, you guys loved it. So I wanna do a lot more of them before the opportunity is gone. Once December gets here, the public marsh is gonna start freezing up a bunch. So we gotta get in our boat hunts while we can. But there is one item I really, really need. Last time I wish I had it and I didn't. This bad boy right there. A metal spatula. <laughs> the last time I was frying bacon and eggs with a plastic fork and the fork just kept melting. So, vital piece for today's cook, that's for sure. <laughs> it's 3.45 in the morning and uh, Thank goodness there's not a lot of customers there. The only time I like vlogging in Walmart is at 3.45 in the morning because the employees still give me some really odd looks. But real quick before we get on the road here, check out that Pintail Drake shirt right there, baby. This is the new Ducks t-shirt of the month. Only the Ducks t-shirt of the month subscribers get this shirt and what it does when you sign up, it enters you to win my boat. Now, not only are you entered in the drawing to win this bad boy. That's right, at the end of the season, I'm giving this bad boy away to one of y'all that subscribe to the Ducks T-shirt of the month. I know, it's a sad deal for me, an awesome deal for you. The T-shirt of the month is only $14.99 a month. You get yourself a one-off custom Ducks T-shirt in the mail one time every single month. And not only that, these Ducks t-shirts are not available on the site at any other time. They're only exclusive to our Ducks t-shirt of the month subscribers. So if you're interested, I will link this shirt down in the description below. Go click the link, go sign up. It's really cheap, I'm telling you. Come on, Fred, come on, Fred, come on, buddy. Well, we got here, we saw a buck driving in and Larry said, Every time he's seen a buck driving in, then it's been a good duck hunt. Is that right? Yeah, that's just what used to be that way. It used to be a good omen. You see him when you're coming in? Yep. It's going to be a good hunt. That's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. he blessed my tire. He's good at that. Let's, yeah. let's check it out. Oh, nice. Thanks, Fred. Thanks, bud. The decoy trailer at home, it's this pretty looking wrap trailer, but every tire looks like that. But we are here. We're going to get the boat in. It's dark. Mike might do some filming for me, but we're gonna get out there, we're gonna get set up. Well, we got our fire done. Seems to be running a lot better with the old fuel pump. Hold on, Larry. <laughs> now we have a light, boys. Here we go. Look at there that. We now we're lighting up. Let's roll. Oh yeah, I hope. Now if it dies, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my light. If it dies, I'm going back to the truck. <laughs> Let's try the first cut. First cut, okay. Thank you, Frederick. Fred. Yeah. You ready to go get some birds?
Well, there's good night. <laughs> is this shooting light? I don't know. So shooting light Still here right, is 635. What time is it? 636. 636. Someone shot earlier at 627. We're like, whoa, that was early. Two mallards behind us already. But it is shooting light, 635 in the AM. Public land, huge marsh. This wetland that we're at is the nation's largest public wetland, y'all. Cheyenne Bottoms. If you've never been here, you need to check it out. You need to come at least once in your lifetime because it's huge. How many acres of uh, public marsh is there? 20. Uh, yeah, tw 26,000. 26,000 acres. 26,000 yeah, 40 acres. 40-some thousand total. 40, yeah, it was like 44,000 total, but 20, about 27,000, 25,000 <clears> public huntable acreage out here, y'all. Well, first bird to the spread, Mike, is a uh, coot right out front, just swam right in. Yeah, He's right there, right behind that little bush. There he goes. Look at him. Oh. Up there and talk to us. Look, he's like, I bet you won't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> they go. They looked around, they got behind us, and I lost them. They coming around the other side. What do you think, bud? You want some ducks in your mouth, huh? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well. It is, whoops, sorry, sorry y'all. <laughs> Put that back up. Uh, it is 7.06, it's been shooting light for right at 30 minutes. And uh, we've seen maybe a handful, I don't know, 10, 12 ducks at most. Uh, the ones that see our decoy spread, they start locking up. And then once they get about 70 yards, they're like, nah, we don't like it. They don't really flare, they just don't really like it a bunch. You know what I'm saying? But the fog has sat in on us here. A little fog layer sat in and it's really good looking. Look at that. Beautiful. One thing about the bottoms is you will never get a more beautiful sunrise anywhere else. I can guarantee it. Every time I've came here, it is a beautiful sunrise. But here's the spread. We got out about mm, five dozen, I think, five to six dozen. Over here we got a paddler spinning wings that splashes. Right there we got my head bobbin rig. The head goes up and down. It's like a feeder. It simulates a diving duck feeding. And then over yonder, Mike put out one of his butt squirters. So we got three motion decoys that make it look beautiful. We have zero wind. So the motion gives a good ripple to the water and a little bit of action that we wouldn't have had before. See that ripple? Oh yeah. Well, here we go. Uh, I'm blaming it all on Michael. It's Mike's fault of course that, it is. <laughs> that there's no birds. We have not shot one time. So uh, it's right at, I think, 745, 750 probably. And I'm like, you know what? We hear a lot of shooting going on. We ain't shooting. Time to cook some breakfast, boys. So today, all the stuff that I picked up from Walmart for breakfast burritos, that's what we're doing. I got a dozen eggs already cooking and a pound of sausage going at it here. What else are you gonna do on a bad hunt, right? This ain't a bad hunt anymore, Mike. No. The just hunt got, just got really good. It just got really good. <laughs> but one thing is, guys, these big wetland public hunts like this, um, we've had days that we came out and we shot two ducks. We've, we've had days that we came out and we did a three-man limit. So it really is a uh, big cold front. New birds is when you really want to hit places like this. Just another normal day today. We didn't know what to expect. I'm going to keep coming at you with a bunch of excuses, but we're cooking breakfast. Hey, the boat ran. Hey, the boat ran. Yeah. You're right. The boat ran. The boat ran really good. Yeah, really, really it was well. was a beast this morning. <clears throat> I want to thank you guys for dropping your comments down below and telling me to get that little fuel pump and 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 the big part was that little breather, the, the fuel cap with the breather. I appreciate it. Well, we're all done here. This is uh, this is the strategy today. Burnt the sausage just a little bit. We're men out here. We like it a little crispy, right? You like a little crispy? Oh, yeah, I gotta be a little crispy. <laughs> I'm like, please agree with me, Mike. Oh, um, oh Fred, he don't care. Yeah, look, he's he like, just Dad, give me a little bit. I'll just be a good boy. Oh, that fell. Here you go, Frederick. Here. Oh, yeah, yum, yum. We're gonna throw some egg up on there. 
Oh yeah, this is going to be a good one. This, I think this might be better than last time's breakfast, it's to be quite sick, honest. It's looking that way. It's going to we'll be... We'll see how it tastes. Presentation's looking good. Presentation's looking pretty good, but uh, the finish, we'll have to see how my finish is. Oh, a little bit of the Fiesta blend cheese. Get your nose back, boy. Don't be thinking about it. You little stinker. Okay, well, there we go. Roll this bad boy up. Hey, Bob, look at this. Oh, hey, there we go. I wish those were in season. Yeah, we need another day. Oh, here we go. Look at that bad boy. Done piece of artwork. Here you go, Larry. Give us your first taste test. Okay, I will. First breakfast burrito out of the boat. Gonna have to get down into that goodness down in there. No, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. right Tasty. On. Tasty. He's like, except for the charcoal. <laughs> 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 you know his back's going. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beast. Oh, oh. You got all kind of scraps to pick up off the floor, dude. Stop yeah. looking at my burrito. Yeah, got yours down there. Oh. Like you don't want to eat it off the floor? Are you that picky? <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. yeah, he's too good for that. Yes. Well, 30 minutes ago, it was 8 o'clock, and Mike said, you know what, Bob, let's give it till 8.30. If we haven't fired a shot, we're out of here. I looked at the clock, it's 8.26, and I'm like, it's pretty much 8.30. Let's get out of here. Uh, we're just not in a good spot. I mean, we live an hour away, so scouting it's a little rough. We should have done a little scouting, but a lot of times I come to the bottoms, you just sit up and, and you shoot some ducks. That's the way it goes. Not today. We have no wind. Literally, no wind at all. Still doesn't matter. We didn't see that many ducks. But what we're going to do, we're going to get loaded up here, get ripping back to the dock. Then we're going to take the boat to Larry's house. He already started building a dog ramp for the boat. So we're going to go see what's up. It's shallow. It is shallow, I'm telling you. Working it pretty hard. Yeah, it's good. We hit the boat. Well, we are all loaded up and we've made it to Larry's house. Like I said, we we're going to be coming here to build a ramp for the boat, a dog ramp. I think we're going to put it on this side right here so the dogs can come out of the water and land up here. Make it a lot easier for the pups to get in and out. This hunt, a dog didn't even get out of the boat. Yeah. But last time we actually had a decent hunt at the bottoms and we had to lift the dogs in and out. You know what I mean? Not no more. But here's Larry's old boat. This is a boat that we hunted out a few times, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good old boat. Good old homemade blind. This, uh, I remember him telling me the story here. And he's like, well, Jack's dog kennel blew down in a storm. The boat blinds now <laughs> was Jack's. <laughs> <laughs> We're not ready to turn, Larry. It's okay. Well, I tried so this is Larry's ladder that he built. This, ours is going to be something just like that. Here's Larry's old boat, though. She's a beaut. And you walk in back there. You Put a lot of full bodies you, in it. Yeah, and you take this out to the water, dump it, leave your cart there, and just walk through the water. It works right. pretty slick. But just get into the water right. down the path. This works great. Walk in hunting public yeah. land. Look at this. He took yeah. a sled 
built a frame, put wheels on it, towed yeah, it in and out. It's all aluminum. Oh, it's, it's all aluminum? Oh, wow. That whole thing literally weighs like 15 pounds, maybe. Yeah, 10 maybe. pounds. It doesn't weigh much. It balances not. Oh, hi, Frederick. You ready to get out? You ready for some breakfast? He actually ate quite a bit of my burrito, not going to lie. I had a huge burrito. I couldn't eat it all, so Fred finished it off. He shouldn't be... Hey, thanks, plane. Hey. That boy shouldn't be hungry at all. Fred, here! Watch, right when I hit this bag, he's going to go wild. Oh, I hope you've seen it. Oh, he's excited. Oh, do you want some? Huh, buddy? Huh? Come on. Come on, this is his favorite time of day. Look at him, all oh, dancing. Oh, Freddy, oh, oh, oh. Oh, that a boy. But he did finish off my burrito, but he's still hungry. One of Fred's favorite times of day is when he gets home and he gets to eat. But I hope you guys liked today's video. Um, I'm sorry, it was not action packed. We did not squeeze the trigger one time. I drove one hour there and one hour back, but you know what? It was all worth it. I wouldn't change a thing. Awesome breakfast in the blind. I hope you guys enjoyed that because I know I did. I've had some really good hunts this season already, so I am not going to be picky at all. That was a good little time in the boat, and we actually left the boat up there because Larry is building our custom step for us. The dog step. That'll be really helpful. But just remember, I am giving the boat away. If you want to get entered to win that bad boy, we're giving it away at the end of the season to one of y'all that subscribes to the Ducks T-shirt of the month. I don't want to give it away. It's such a good boat. It ran like a champion. The fuel pump and the cap with the breather screw on it fixed it. It ran awesome. So at the ending of the uh, last video, the 410 challenge video, I went and picked up my prescription mouthwash that y'all seen. And I got to swig this and swallow it three times a day. And let me tell you what, the amount of medicines that are in this thing, this is the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. It's horrible. The worst part is that you got to swallow it. Mmm. The worst thing about it, uh, that it has lidocaine in it, and it literally numbs your whole tongue, your entire mouth, your throat, and everything, and they want you to swallow it, so it like cleans everything, you know. Oh my god. It's like Roto-Rooter or something. And then that aftertaste, it lasts with you about 30 minutes. But just one thing I gotta do for the old mouth situation. Uh, on the last video, like I was saying, I asked you guys, do you guys want me to give you updates, keep you updated with it, with the situation, you know what I'm saying? And uh, all of you, every single one of you actually, were like, Bobby, yes, of course, we want to stay updated with the whole cancerous mouth thing that I'm dealing with. So, the next checkup is in a week or two. I can already tell that the mouthwash is really doing something to the spots. It's kind of making them go away, so hopefully that's good news. But I figured a lot of the updates about my mouth situation I'll probably just put at the end of the videos like this. So if you guys are interested in them, stick around to the end of the videos and I'll be giving you updates there. But like I said, the Ducks t-shirt of the month for the boat giveaway, I will link it down in the description below. Click the link, go sign up, it's really easy. $14.99 a month, can't beat it. But we didn't kill them, but it was a great breakfast. Good breakfast, bad hunt. Oh well. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell. We'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.